introduce our uh, keynote speaker and the final relayer of our troops into the, the area this evening. This is Congressman David B. McKinley, who has graciously uh, offered to speak to us. Uh, I, I, I just have a, a sense that I don't want to steal his thunder. He's got some neat things to say. Congressman McKinley.
men without legs have asked for the opportunity to go back, to rejoin their, their men in the field. They want to be with their troops. What's important is their spirit is not fallen. They are Americans. Congressman Tim Murphy of Pennsylvania asked me a week ago to join him and four others on a congressional fact-finding tour in conjunction with the Navy. Members of Congress will be visiting with the, at the Normandy American Cemetery to pay respect to our foreign soldiers from during World War II. I am proud to be able to place a wreath in behalf of the American, the men of this valley, to be at Normandy to place that wreath means so much to me. But think back with me to 67 years ago. Consider the mindset of the war-weary Americans in late May of 94. The world had been in conflict for nearly 10 years, with Hitler spreading his vial, conquering nation after nation throughout Europe and Africa. His eyes were set on Britain, the last remaining bastion of democracy and freedom in the country on the continent. Could we mount another military surge that could turn the tide? Were we ready for the casualties that would ensue? Our military leaders knew there was no alternative, but we had to go in. General Eisenhower issued the order, and on June 6, 1944, D-Day, the world held its breath as Allied troops stormed the beaches and the cliffs of Normandy. Nearly 2,500 Americans never came back after that day. But their sacrifices made it all possible for all of us in this valley and across America. 67 years later, we should all appreciate the enormity of that moment in our history. Similar sacrifices by Americans can be found on Pork Chop Hill or the Battle of Inchon in Korea, in the Tet Offense in, Italy, in Vietnam, in the deserts of Kuwait, or more recently in Fallujah in Baghdad, in Kandahar in Kabul in Afghanistan. American troops are there, taking risks every day to protect our freedom. Their character, their valor, their sense of duty are what keeps us able to sleep at night. Freedom is not free. And today, we remember our soldiers who never came home and whose sacrifices made it all too clear. It is our duty to assure them that they made a difference, a difference for America and for our defense of freedom. And so as President Reagan once said, they will be remembered as long as God gives life to this nation of ours. God bless all of you, and God bless the men manning the walls defending America for freedom. Thank you all very much.
and I'm going to pick one short message to give him so that he can take to the beaches and to the ears of the world. In this country, we believe in life, liberty, and the pursuit of anybody that messes with that. Yeah. 